Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, what you're going to learn here today at Blue Rise, you're going to learn how to actually disassemble the BMW factory exhaust system on a BMW R19 racer. So, um, let's get into it and see what happens. It's showtime. <laughs> So Luke Wright getting into a bit of a problem because he's removing the titanium acroprovic uh, slip-ons from the classic BMW race bike but also what was happening was the valve module was coming away with the slip-on. Now the thing is that's not really what's supposed to happen. What's supposed to happen is the valve unit stays in place. And further investigation, if you look at the two exhaust clamps, there's one clamp on the catalytic converter side, and there's one clamp for the slip-on, but there's, there's another exhaust piece in the middle where the valve, or the, the valve module sits. And it's as if this clamp here holds this piece in the middle where the valve module is and the valve system is, but it's this forward clamp here that then holds the slip-on in place. So we're going to give this another bash and see what happens. You're learning at the same time as you're filming. Not a, well, not the easiest thing in the world. So what you want to do is, again, we're, we're disassembling the exhaust hanger very gently. And it's very pretty as well. It's silver, aluminium. What we want to try and do is not let the tool slip and then scratch that lovely bit of, of aluminium there because don't want to damage it, it just doesn't look nice then but it... oh. no, not easy and yeah, looks factory, it looks very pretty okay, so let's see what happens, the theory is now is what was supposed to happen in the first place. The slip-on has come away. Hey, hey! One twin shotgun, acroperovic, titanium. So we're going to undo the servo. Which is this Torx bolt here with a black washer, which we need to um, has that Torx holding it on and then you push it backwards. backwards. And you can see here that it was on, the rubber mount was on that metal pin there. Ah, yes. So yes, whole, you can. The whole contraption has to go backwards has in order to, get to be backwards. removed. You can't just remove it because there'll be an electrical connector somewhere. So, which we need to find a torch. That's me whittling it off. Because what we, what we found. Then it's going down, so it's come mm. back and down. Back and down. And now I can I found the electrical connector right on the back of it. Right so, in there. so the servos come back and down, and then there's the loom that the servo body's gonna connect to. And then we just gotta get this off in order to release the servo. You can't feel with a pick, you know, you can't like no. it ain't your fingers, is it? Oh, I felt like it fucking moved then. All I've done is use a pick to remove the terminal. Quality. Look at that. Hmm. And then out comes the servo. And then with that one undone, the valve assembly will come. Hmm. There's a butterfly valve. Just so. Uh, mm. So how does the servo body, what does the servo body do then? The servo body is going to connect to right, this, yeah. and then we're going to cable tie it up out the way, probably right. out the way somewhere, right. and then it's going to lie to the bike. The onboard computer that it thinks 
that the valve, the exhaust valve, factory valve, is open or closed. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a torch and you're going to be in this area here of the Norte classic BMW race bike. Race for race. It's that unit right there. That unit right there. If there wasn't so much pieces in the in the way. So it sits just underneath the charcoal canister. It sits right there in the frame. This is where we're gonna take the little servo buddy and we're gonna connect it up. Right in the depths of the frame of the classic BMW race bike, classic super bike, that electrical connector there that's just there uh black with a long wire coming out of it that is the controller for the exhaust valve your exhaust valve is this honking great big emissions controlling crap here that is holding back this mighty engine okay this is why we're undoing now the second exhaust clamp being careful not to hit the frame this gorgeous bmw classic superbike we don't want to hit the frame. We just want to undo this piece here. It'd be nice if we can try and get a bit more light in there for you. Rest the torch up against the tire or the beamer, and then Luke Rice and only feel the link pipe is loose. Yeah, it is loose. It, it, it's actually coming out now. You can actually feel it coming out. Wow! And away comes the exhaust unit. Holy mother! And... Wow! I'm sure I can get a sweep from here. You just want to film that bit, not me. To get away, come away with you. Yeah. Beautiful. So we have successfully, which is crucial to, to removing the factory system, we have successfully loosened off. The BMW O2 sensors sitting there in the exhaust system. We used a large 22 inch spanner, and effectively, what we want to do is take the spanner, make sure you've got the best fit possible over the nut, and then using a hammer, hit the roundy end of the spanner and keep doing that until that nut releases and then away you go and this O2 sensor is now fully released well, is is loose but now we're in the process of actually releasing it from its holder beyond a big quality Wow. 
Wow. This is the tiniest little tool no crying to suffer I am ever used. You don't get much leverage now, mate. You don't get much leverage at all. So kind of like worry, that worry of rounding off the heads. Oh, what a handy tool. This little tool has literally been able to get into this tiny gap. And there's a... Uh, well, wow, actually, the bolts, well, what you can do is if you can just get the, the bolts themselves just loose enough, you can start to undo them by hand, effectively, if you want to. Kind of saves, saves time. Because you know, by this point, after you're starting to use tools, you kind of get a good idea of what um, clockwise. Clockwise is undo in uh, in garagey, garagey speak, undo, and what's tighten. Okay, so that's that's the bolts for the exhaust hangers now starting to come away. Um, and great stuff. We have a jack in position, so it's just a matter of now. You see how the clamp is is now just starting to, you can actually just see it with see with the human eyes, actually just see it now, just see it, starting to, starting to undo, you can actually see the clamp now, actually giving way to the, oh this one's a bit of a fucker, it's usually quite language, but when you work, when you're working on a, well, anything mechanical, you're gonna feel like swearing. It's just hard work. It really is hard work. None of it. None of it's easy. Okay. Well, we are starting to. Um, oh no! Does it put it? Fucking put it into a, tighten up. We don't want to tighten up. We want to undo you, bugger. No. Oh my God! Luke Christ is getting himself all confused, man. Get himself confused. What on do? We don't want Titan. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Luke Rice to see what he's doing wrong. <sighs> ah! Yeah, this this exhaust bolt. The one furthest away from Luke Rides is um Yeah, it's not playing uh, it's not being very nice. It's actually put up with a little bit of a fight to undo by hand, really. There is some sort of Oh I'm focused on my phone. It's supposed to be an intelligent phone, it's not being a dick. Is there some sort of silver paste? On the um, on the actual exhaust uh, centre cap bolt, centre clamp bolts. That area, it's very exposed to the elements. Where usually this is where exhaust clamp bolts will rust. And uh, BMW Motorrider are trying to give those bolts the best chance they can of of not going crusty and rusty. So top marks to BMW. That is BMW engineering quality. It's all one unit. It's all one unit right from the headers. All the way back. Past the both banks of O2 sensors. To the catalytic converter. So now the catalytic converter is free. The next job is to remove the flange nuts here. Remove them. And then what will happen is this entire piece, this is what we would call the headers at this point, this, this entire factory BMW system, which we would call the headers, is now going to come away. And make sure you're happy. Um, and before you undo those flange bolts, um, obviously a professional tip is make sure you have somewhere for the exhaust headers to go. Uh, where you're not going to scratch the the cats or the factory system, just in case the next owner may crazy may may want it, may want to keep hold of it in case. Even though you just know with a 
for aqua private titanium system you're never going back just moved on to a smaller ratchet that can just get into this more confined space yeah we have it's not a fucking it's not a bloody ideal is it okay and it feels like we're definitely yeah we're definitely on the head and so that's that's great the head fault here we go here's some force here's some force for you at Oh god. Okay. Really could do a bigger tool. Ah. Oh. Okay, the bastard's not um it's not moving. It's not. Obviously we don't want to damage this scenario either. Oh. I think that's what it's actually doing. Fucker is as well. God damn it. You bastard. Actually trying to deshape this. Whoa! Thin here. Why is nothing ever straightforward? And I was thinking you didn't want to cause any damage to your, your lady. I know, it was like that in the factory. Yeah. That's good to know. <laughs> okay, attempt mark two. Ah, attempt mark two, successful. Okay, we have movement on this head bolt as well. Now we just need to take the appropriate tools and we need to go to the other side, to the other, to the second cylinder. The ratchet actually sits on the extension and is on an adjustable joint just to help us get into the, uh, this bolt here. The second bolt that's just between the head and the actual exhaust piece that's just very tricky to get a ratchet and the socket in there. It's not BMW's fault, that's just how they, they design these standards like that for a reason. Make sure we set to a do. And that came off that came off nicely as well. Okay, so that's looking actually pretty good. Okay, at this point you're going to want a, um, you're going to want the 12mm deep, uh, deep socket. Let's just undo it, break the, the headers away, and then just take it from there really. So what you need to now do is you need to look at the, um, you need to look at the front exhaust system, the headers where the pipes now go into the cylinders and you have one um, flange nut here and a second one at the bottom and now what you're going to do is you're just going to take your time and you're going to undo um, the flange nuts and they really are just they're actually nuts on a thread which is quite quite interesting uh, they are greasy uh, titanium, ooh, this is very important, titanium under no circumstances, which we're going to repeat later on as well on this episode, do not get your fingerprints on the, um, damn it, it's so greasy, under no circumstances do you do you bloody get uh, grease on titanium? Uh, do not get your fingers on titanium. Don't let your skin contact titanium because once you do, once you do, you leave the grease. Oh, this one's being alright, little fucker. It's not, just, it's not just undoing. Oh, this angle. This angle sucks balls. It's interesting because these these bloody nut, nuts, flange thingies are um, greasy. Okay, 
Alrighty, I want the flange nut to come away. Okay, and then move on to the other side. Cool. Uh, same procedure, bring your tools with you. And then same procedure for the second cylinder. Here we are removing the uh, factory system. So you take your time. Yeah, on this occasion, these um, fans bolts. Oh, these fans bolts are a little bit corroded. No, they are. They're just a little bit corroded. Um, so, so you don't might make Luke Ride's mistake here. Is for the last flange nut that sits in inside, deeper inside the uh, the cylinder for both sides is if you get a, a tool like this in there and then you put force down in order to start undoing the, the nut what you'll do is the, the force of your tool will then put pressure on this edge here of the cylinder and you could actually mark the the cylinders you could actually mark the black factory paint and mark it and if you mark it well, um, you know, you, you damage that beautiful line because the force of your tool has pushed the, the paint in. Um, yeah, you're not you're not repairing that. You're not going to fix it. So, what you can do if you love your motorcycle, uh, love your your R19 racer, is what you can do to help yourself is take a smaller tool like this with an adjuster that will get in that gap. And then you can put your force down to undo the flange nut, but the tool isn't coming into contact with the cylinder. Now, if you're a petrol head and you love your baby, that's a top tip for you. Recording. Okay, I've got to be careful though, because see what we do. Well, ah, okay, so Luke Christ can actually see that there is a problem with this, because what's going to happen is that as this releases, ah, oh, this is a real pain in the butt, actually. What we want to do is have a little bit of give between. Okay, this is where we've got to be uh, very careful now at this point because what we don't want to do is we don't want to damage little things like. Ah, oh, actually. not easy when you've got to do this by yourself because it doesn't want to just come away you know well I mean this one's happily happy to come away but ah it's the jack the jack is in the way it's stopping the Jack is actually in the way. It's actually in the way, to be honest. Are we completely free? We are. Okay, we are completely free. Oh, that's this exhaust clamp. Oh, this exhaust clamp is in the way. Ah, oh, we'll maneuver out of the way. Oh, we don't want to scratch the frame. Yeah, that's the problem. What we don't want to do is we don't want to scratch the beautiful BMW frame. Obviously here, we don't want to damage it or mark it. Obviously, BMW had the reason, but if we could just... Oh, all the money. Let's bring the...
Okay, it looks like we've been very good as well. We've been able not to get marks um, on the ports themselves, so that is fan bloody tested. Now, oh, God, Luke Rice is making all sorts of noises now, isn't he? Now we need to somehow bring this massive BMW system. Ah. Stop it. Ah. Again we don't again we don't want to mark the um so we don't want to mark the cylinders. Do you know what required means? We don't want to mark the cylinders, damage the the engine casing or mark it in any way. We need we want this just to just to release. Um some other things we actually might be able to do is if we pull the jack out of the way. Ah. Oh god. And just let let the exhaust system rest. <laughs> okay. Check for any potential damage on the um, paintwork side of things on this edge here. But it looks good. We have cleared a massive gravy ports. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody at the Clients. Um, it was actually pretty interesting. There's a lot to do. A lot involved. Very big job. Um, and to think that's, that's a race bike, a uh, classic super bike without, um, uh, well, with what's, what we call bikini uh, super bike fairing. So, got there without you got a lot of access that you wouldn't get on a modern superbike. Um, but yeah, there's still a lot to do. It's quite a big job to be honest. Very big. Hero looks confused. Are you confused? Hero's confused. Here are pubs. No, he's just waking up. <laughs> The way we... The little rascal has spirit. That's awesome. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. Yeah.